Hello, this is Marcus here, and currently it's 5.15, so it's quarter past five, and we're on the way to the Algarve, and they've got the Arnity Charger. We're with the family, so we've got the whole family we're going on the weekend to the Algarve. Now, we've done this in our petrol car, and I can link that video down below as well. And in the petrol car, it took two hours and 45 minutes. Now, is it possible in this electric car, now we've got 350 kilowatt chargers on the way, to do it in under three hours. So it's Friday evening, it'd be a bit busier, and we're going to try it. A better route planner says we can do it in two hours and 54 minutes, and it's saying that we'll only have to stop for 10 minutes at Ionity. So let's see how accurate that is. So we're going to go exactly the same route that we went in the petrol car. On the current petrol prices today, in the petrol car, we used 20 litres to get there. So that's equivalent to 33 euros, and it took two hours, 45 minutes. Now, I did do this test in the winter, which I'll link below as well, um, in this car, but it was a day of bad weather, and we only had 50 kilowatt chargers, and it took three hours, 15 minutes. So can we really break the three hour mark? And this time I've got my family in the car with me, and last time I didn't have my family, so the car's a little bit heavier. Um, say hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. And we've got Poppy the cat as well. Perhaps you can see her. Here comes Poppy the cat. So can we do this in three hours on a Friday evening? And hopefully, there's only two Ionity chargers on the way. Hopefully, they won't be being used. I don't think so, because they're so expensive. So I don't think many people are going to be using them. Um, there are 50 kilowatt chargers on the way, but um, we're going to do this as quickly as possible. So we're going to choose the Ionity chargers. We're now on the A2 going south towards the Algarve. Now we started at 89% battery, we're now at 74% because we've now done 47 kilometers. And our average has been 19.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. A better route planner does claim we'll get to the charger with 29% charge, so that should be pretty accurate, I think. Um, the temperature outside currently is 19 degrees Celsius, so it's nice. And I think we've got a little bit of um, tailwind, so hopefully that's pushing us along, so that's good. Yeah, so the idea is we're going to arrive at my flat in the Algarve, hopefully with around 20%. So obviously it's easier and quicker to go to the Algarve than three hours. Uh, but we're actually going to Tavira. So Tavira is actually to the very east of the Algarve, so it's a bit further in fact. Did you see the story of this old man in France who got an electric Tesla? He got rid of it after two months. Why did he get rid of his electric Tesla, this man in France? Because his daughter called him to go and babysit for her. So he lived about 300 kilometers away and he thought he'd get there quickly on his Tesla. But somehow the journey took him 10 hours to get there. How did it take him 10 hours in the Tesla? Because lots of problems kept on happening. First, it started snowing, there was very bad weather. Then he got to a charger and his card didn't work on this charger. Then the information on the board wasn't accurate and he got misled by it. And he ended up having to stay the night stuck. His wife had to get a taxi to go and babysit and even had to ask police for help. We took him to another village, but the charger didn't work either. So it was just problems on top of problems happening and he ended up giving up the electric car because it was just too complicated. So uh, don't buy a Tesla if you don't know what you're doing. Now to the right here, um, we have got El Castu Sal. That's got a 50 kilowatt hour charger and there's no one charging there. As we've still got high battery percentage, around 70%, um, we're not going to stop there because there's no point. That charger there is about 35 cents per kilowatt hour, while the Ionity chargers are 85 cents per kilowatt hour, so they're much more expensive. So, do you think we'll get there within three hours? Do you think we'll get there before 8.15, Mummy? No, I don't think so. What do you think, Kalina? We can do this within three hours? I'm not sure. Last time we took longer. Yes, because last time we went on the national road. I don't think we'll do it in under three hours because Kalina's just told me she needs to go to the toilet. So, um, 
we were wanting to stop in around 55 minutes time at the Ionity charger to get to the toilets there but uh, unfortunately we'll have to stop in the Grandola service station which doesn't have any chargers but they're building chargers there so um, we'll probably take that time from the overall time because this can happen as well in a petrol car normally on a Friday evening we'll have turned off by now and we'd be going along the national road and that is because there's only 150 kilowatt charger now before we get to the Algarve and we need to use it um, if there was somebody charging there we'd have to wait for them and it'd be very common on Friday evening that there'd be one person charging there um, so that's why we prefer to go on the national road so we could go all the way to the Algarve and then charge in the Algarve so now with these two extra ionity chargers um, it makes this trip on a Friday evening uh, much more relaxing and possible doing it all the way on the motorway so we're turning off now because uh, somebody needs the toilet um, this is where I was last week we're actually building chargers but um, they're not ready yet so let's see what time it is so we can subtract that at the end so currently it's five minutes past six o'clock five minutes past six o'clock and we're coming off now so let's go and look where the chargers are then oh, a raven a raven there's a big raven there is there yes. oh we can't go through there well we'll just stop here shall we yes well, we're here, so uh, you see, we look at the diggers here. We've done 97 kilometers, and I think we can go. So let's go then. So we're going to install it's the new chargers. It's freezing, and it's windy. Look oh. at that. There's a lot of wind, and it's um, tailwind, I think. So that's great. So that's pushing us along. Terrible weather. Yes. I hope it gets better for the weekend. Yes, it should be 21 tomorrow. It's still cold. Well, it's, it's a cold wind because it's 20 degrees outside, but the wind is cold. Yes, yeah, so we've done 97 kilometers. Our um, consumption has gone down to 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, and our average speed has gone up to 97 kilometers an hour. And now we're like on off road in it now. Get some paint chips. So back on the motorway, and now it's six, nine minutes past six o'clock. So I think we can subtract four minutes at the end. So that didn't take too long. Soon we'll be coming up to out the Algestral service station. There, they just have one fifty kilowatt charger as well. So uh, Annabella, can you check if someone's using that charger or not? So that one is available. So. Even though we've got Ionity in front, if this wasn't a race and if I didn't want to get to the Algarve in under three hours, I would probably stop here because this one here is probably going to take a little bit longer, but obviously it's 35 cents per kilowatt hour versus 85 cents. Now, what's great about Ionity is on a normal trip, if this one was full, then I'd use Ionity. But personally, I would have preference for this one just because of the difference of price. The problem is there's only one of them. So if obviously someone's charging there, we'll have to wait for them. And then that's um, a pain. So as you can see, we're only 10 kilometers away now from the Almodova Ionity chargers. So the car is currently at 27%. We have done 168 kilometers. The average speed has been 106 kilometers an hour. So we've had an open road and we've increased the consumption to 19.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I don't know if the wind's changed, but it definitely seems a bit um, windier now. So Annabella's going to check on the Mio app if there's anyone charging there, if there's any free charges. Yeah, so uh, these ones hopefully will be available. We'll see when we get there. We should have checked actually before we go into the 50 kilowatt charger, because imagine if both of these ones weren't working. We'd have missed a 50 uh, kilowatt charger, now we would be slightly stuffed we'd have to go to Castro Verde or somewhere because we've only got 26 pence of battery or we can drive slowly to the Algarve. We'd end up like the French man. <laughs> You'd end up like the French man taking 10 hours to get uh, to do a short trip. But it's not that short. Yeah. Well it's about the same distance. Okay yes yeah, so um yeah, so if this one wasn't working, um, we'd end up like the French man taking 10 hours to get to the Algarve. When we want to do it in under three hours, I think we can still do it under three hours. We will see how long we're going to charge here for. I think here it said we had to charge to, charge to 50 something percent. I may just charge it to 60 percent. The car battery is on 23 percent. Better route plan said 29 percent, but anyway, it's turning off here. Yeah, there's no one charging there. Hopefully they're working. You can see there they've got a space for another one, two, three, four chargers, but we've just got two at the moment. So I use the same one I used last week. What do you think of these chargers, Kalina? Do you like them? Yes. Well, that's good. Kalina likes the chargers. Do you like them, Mummy? Well, it's a charger, isn't it? That's a special charger. It's especially expensive. 
Trying to be as quick as possible here. So, swipe the card. Connect to your vehicle. Yes, you have to connect to the vehicle on this one. So here we go. Trying to be quick, but I'm not very quick, am I? Let's connect to the vehicle. Here we go. Swipe the card. This start. Theresa, it's authorised in payment. No. Let's say it's not working. Right, that's not working. Let's try in the app. Let's try in the app. Uh, how's that not working? It's saying green in the app. Uh, let's see which charger is it. Let's go. I meant to be quick, and I'm going slow. Which one is it? Four, five. I reckon it's four. No, I think it's five. Let's go next. Connect table to car next. Preparing, it's the wrong one. Look, it's the wrong one again. Previous. Exit. Try again then. Try again from the app. So it's this one. Next, four, I think. Connect cable to car next, yes. Preparing, yeah, now it's starting. So it's actually starting from the Mio app. Could you see that there? Yeah, you see? Let's see. Ever, ever driven, ever driven communication. I'm actually going to try the other one. Now oh, the thing's stuck, so I have to get the key. This is going to take longer than three hours. Wait a minute. It's not working. This one, I'll try the other one. I'm going to move to the other one. This one's not working. Are you filming now? Yes. So it's not working. That one doesn't seem to be working. So it can take us 10 hours. Oh, it's going to end up... We should have stopped at a 50 kilowatt charge. It would probably be quicker than this, because 50 kilowatt charge, there was work. Eat the cat's biscuits for dinner. And then moi, je vais à pied. Well, she's got a nice salmon pâté. That must be delicious, so we won't be starving. I'm not going to eat pâté. So let's try the card again. See if the card works in this one. If not, we try another card. So, port, I left it open. Where do you want to be the harder it is? So, you bung that in there. Bung that in there. Start. So, let's see if the card works this time. Verifying, yes. Preparing to charge, setting up communication with the car. I heard the clicks, so hopefully it's going to work this time. So I'm meant to be here 10 minutes, but obviously we're going to be here longer, aren't we? <laughs> it starts, please start. Oh yes, 23% of the battery. So what kilowatts are we going to get? Probably going to give us 10 kilowatts or something stupid. Charging. So let's see charge speed now, put a jump on. So we've gone down to 88 kilowatts, we're at 28%. So we've added three kilowatts in two minutes there, 29%. So we're gonna stop at 60%. So as you can see here, we're now at, we've been here eight minutes. We've already added 11 kilowatt hours and it's 73 kilowatts. Uh, it's the charging speed we're getting up. We're at 43%, so everything seems to be going perfectly. Yeah, so we're leaving now. Um, that took 16 minutes just that charging session not including the time we wasted because the first charger didn't work So that's longer than the 10 minutes that we anticipated according to a better route planner So I don't think we're going to do it under three hours now. I'm not sure let um, So unfortunately I chose the wrong charger But um, Yeah, that's bad now Kalina wants to talk to you about a new Kaka Moustique episode in English so as you know, I've got a YouTube channel called Kaka Moustique Adventures. And did you know there is a new adventure of Kaka Moustique? It's called Kaka Moustique in Ancient Greece. And it's very funny. And don't forget to click subscribe.
So look over there, can you see the sign? We're in the Algarve, but um, yeah. so we got to the Algarve under three hours, that's true, but we still got 88 kilometers to go until Cabanas de Tavira. Now it's saying we're going to get to there in about 54 minutes, and currently it's 24 minutes past seven o'clock. So I'm not sure we'll do that under three hours, I don't think so. This part's quite hilly, so let's look at consumption since that. So we've currently done 200 kilometers. So it's 200 kilometers from my house until the Algarve. Um, the average speed is 106 kilometers an hour um, and the average consumption is 19.8 kilowatt hours per 100 and currently the battery is at 51% so we've used 9% of the battery since the Arnity charge and the Arnity charge was 22 kilometers away. Let's see, let's go through here, how much does that cost us? 20 euros and 15 cents. Let's get going. The more I learn about Harriet's house, the more I lurch between awe at its stature and frustration at the way Matt's parents run it. Now this is getting exciting because we've got 45 kilometers left and the car's saying we're going to do that in 32 minutes and it's 7.45 so that means we're going to get there at 8.17. So that's two minutes over the three hours. If we take away the four minutes from Kalina, we might actually do it under the three hours by two minutes. So let's see. Um, we're going well along here. Let's see if we can do it, if we can actually arrive under three hours. Stats, just to let you know, we've done 244 kilometers. The average speed has been 108 kilometers an hour. And our consumption is 19.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And look, another toll again. How much is this one? 35 cents. So we've got 29 kilometers to go. It's currently 53 minutes past seven. The ID3 is saying it's going to take 23 minutes, but a better route planner is saying it's going to only take 20 minutes, which means we will do it within the three hours. So what's right, the ID3 or better route planner? We'll find out. out. Uh, the road's quite clear at the moment, so we can keep going. And soon we'll be turning off towards Tavira and then we have to go to Cabanas to Tavira and I don't know if you can see in distance over there we can already see the sea Plina we can see the sea Ooh, that's good it's exactly eight o'clock now so can we get there within 15 minutes a better route planner seems to think we can it's saying 12 minutes we can still take four minutes from that uh, but I'm not sure Let's keep going. So we're just about to turn off to Tavira. So this will be the last of the motorway trip. So just look at stats. So we've done 275 kilometers since the start. The average has been 19.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And the average speed has been 110 kilometers an hour. And the ID3 is saying we've got 14 minutes to do it in. So, and it's 8.01. So perhaps we'll get there exactly on three hours. We take four minutes from that and we've done it in under three hours even with the auntie problems let's go we have got 11 minutes to get to the flat to be under three hours actually a bit more because we're going to take off four minutes in the end i think it can be done and there's not much traffic so let's go round a big round roundabout what's the battery at battery's at 23 percent so we should arrive with 20 percent as predicted So it's 8.05 now, and we've got some slow cars. Come on, this car's going really slow. They're going at 40 kilometers an hour along here, which is below the speed limit. Come on. So it's 8.07, I'm in a small traffic jam. And this person is doing 40 kilometers an hour along here. It's at least, you're allowed to go 70. So just slow me down, get out the way. I better get all the way to where we're going. Go on, turn right or left, please, please turn right or left. It's eight to eight now, so we've got seven minutes to get there by 8.15. And they're going the same way we're going, I'm pretty sure of it. Still eight to eight. We're doing a massive 40 kilometers an hour. But it's eight to nine, I think we can still do it, even though we've got the slowest car in history in front of us. There's no shortcut, there's only one way. So six minutes to go until 8.15 and we're not very far away now. Come on, Dan. 
You turn out the way, he's going to go straight ahead, I'm sure of it. Come on, this is a race. And, <sighs> just bad luck today, Nis. Will we do it under three hours? Last time it took us four hours. We can't overtake here because there's no overtaking part. I just can't believe there's people slower than me. Yeah, there's it's people impressive. slower than Annabella. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got five minutes to go. I can almost see the flat from here. I think we're still going to do it. It's ten past eight. Why do you see the flat? Yeah, why do you see it from here? Because I well, I can see almost it. see it. Almost. Uh, <laughs> there's nowhere to overtake here so far because um, it's a single line. Now here, it may be able to overtake. I'm not sure I need to, but it's a clear road. We're allowed to overtake here. Let's use the power of the ID3. Oh, this makes me feel sick, this acceleration of <laughs> that. So oh. there we go, they've overtaken the slow poke, that's how to do it. Electric power at its oh, best. Oh, my stomach. Stop that. It's terrible. It's not a, um, it's not the cat will be sick with that. Now, it's 8.11, 8.11, and the flat is just really round the corner. So we're definitely going to do it. And we're going to take four minutes away as well. Look but even without taking the four cars. minutes away, we're going to do it under three hours. Look, slow cars. Yes, yeah, slow cars. These one's okay because coming up to roundabouts. They're allowed to be slow. Because we all have to slow down coming up to roundabout. So if we can do it, yeah, we can definitely do it. It's still 8.11. Well, what you could do is make your wife feel very sick. Oh, your cat. So going around here, look at that, 8.11. We go around here. Oh, 22% battery, as you can see there. 8.12, 8.12, and we're coming up here now. 8, 12, and now we've arrived. It's 12 minutes past eight. We've arrived, so we've done that in two hours and 57 minutes. Take away four minutes for the wee stop, and we've actually uh, done that in two hours and 50. Seven. No, 53. It's about seven, eight, four is three. We've actually done that in. Um, in two hours and 53 minutes. Now the cactus did it in two hours and 45 minutes. So we're only slower. eight minutes slower than the petrol car. And plus we had the ionity problems. I'm sure we, if we took off two or three minutes for the ionity problems, we'd that be down to two hours 50. And that would only be five minutes slower than the petrol cactus. So with that ionity, even though it's got the teething problems at the moment, it just shows us how quick driving this electric car is on this trip and it's just perfect really you can almost do it exactly the same as a petrol car so let's just look at stats it's 288 kilometers here the average speed was 106 kilometers an hour we used 18.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers so that's quite good and then i'll tell you how much it cost us and stuff because in the petrol cactus today it would have cost us 33 euros um, I think Ionity may have been a bit too expensive um, but there you go there's a full stats and the car's at 22% I wanted to arrive at 20% so arriving at 22% is perfect could have arrived even a bit quicker if I'd aim to arrive at 10% but I do like to arrive here at 20% so um, I'm going to give you the other stats say bye and thank you for bye watching bye. this episode of EV bye. Journey Remember Daddy, to click subscribe. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Show the cat. Coffee.